Hey guys! So, I have not done a foundation routine in a very long time. Like, since August, at least. Um, which I don't really know why. I know back in the summer I was having more problems with like computer storage issues, so I couldn't really do longer videos. But, this has been something I've wanted to do for, again for a while because um, these videos were, helped me so much when I first started watching YouTube. Um, so, yeah, here we go. Um, I'm just gonna like prime and everything and then I'll do my eyes and then come back to do my foundation. So, I'm gonna start with actually my Philips Milk of Magnesia. Give that a shake. This just really helps my makeup last all day, not get gross. By the end of the day, I'll still be really oily, but usually there's like enough in the cap to just kind of do that. My forehead gets super oily, so I usually start up there. Just a little bit on the sides of my nose. It's oily too. Well, pretty much oily everywhere. Alright. Then, while that dries, I'm going to take my Prestige Prime and Ready Eye Primer and just put a little bit of that on my lids. I'm going out with my mom-in-law today to look at some of the bigger, to shop around and see what they have as far as the bigger baby stuff. So that'll be fun. Then I'm going to take my Rimmel Fix and Perfect Pro Primer. I feel like I'm going through this really fast. But, I mean, it's like five bucks at Target, five, six bucks. So, it's super affordable. Just put that. And of course, after I showered, I did use toner, moisturizer, and all that. Right now I'm using the Clinique, uh, what's it called, their basic what is it called? Mine is totally blanking. Clinique. Their gel moisturizer, whatever. You know, it's a yellow one. Mine's blanking. Alright. Woo! So, and again, like I said last time, I know this is a lot of steps, but if I don't, makeup is not gonna last like I could just throw on some stuff really fast for the coverage but it's gonna get cakey real fast so small layers is the way to go and right now I'm just priming my eyes again with MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in W20 and this just kind of evens out everything on the lid covers those veins and helps the eyeshadow last I used to use like eyeshadow bases more for this, but this works just as well, if not better. So there's one less product to buy. So hey, that works. Woo! Throwing everything around today. Butterfingers. Okay. Then a little bit of It Cosmetics Bye Bye Redness. And I love this stuff. I'm going to take my Sigma F64. Um, it's called Soft Blend Concealer. This is just perfect for this. It also works really great uh, for blending under eye concealer if you don't have a beauty blender. What is on my face? Okay. So, 
so I'm just going to go over the areas that are very red. Getting like a tiny bit on the brush when I do this. I really just like wipe it around the edges. A little goes a long way. I'm not trying to cover everything at this point. Just kind of even things out. And then I don't need as much foundation and concealer. And this stuff is like good for your skin and everything, so I like that. All right. <clears throat> helps everything last with this powder my mom gave me the Clinique redness solutions just a pressed very finely milled yellow powder and again you only need to do this if you have like super oily skin okay I'm gonna do my eyes and I'll be right back Alrighty, so the eyes are done. I feel like I look really weird with my eyes done and <laughs> no foundation. Um, some people can pull it off and go out like that, but I cannot. It just does not look even. Alright, so today I'm going to use, um, lately I've been using my Tarte Amazonian Clay Foundation. My skin has been going nuts, and I know this doesn't break me out, so I just want to be able to kind of calm down, and then we can figure things out. So, yeah. So I'm just going to take my beauty blender. Oh, I guess I missed a spot. Oopsies. But I always wash it with um, Bronner's, Dr. Bronner's soap. Right now I'm just using the bar soap, and it works really well wash that. So I'm just going to pat it in. I'm probably going to pick up my summer shade um, since I have a 20% off coupon and a gift card for Ulta. I couldn't even remember if I pressed record. That's my pregnancy brain for you. I love how this just blends in really easily. I'm gonna make all kinds of weird faces when I'm doing this, but <laughs> that's just what works. haven't tried the beauty blender yet seriously just try it nothing works better for my foundation I like to get them from makeupgeek.com now um because they have the two pack for $23.99 which is almost $30 at Sephora or $20 just for one so it is the best deal and if you use it every day, um, this will still last you several months. Or at least a couple. Alright. I 
Alright, it looks a little better now. And I have this in the shade light beige, if you're wondering. So this definitely won't work when I start self tanning. Okay, then we'll take MAC Pro Longwear Concealer, as always. is whining out there. It's just in sleeping and I'm in here. Alright. Beauty blender again. Okay, then I'm going to take my MAC Prep and Prime CC powder in just, um, if you have large pores and oily skin especially, this powder is awesome for setting under eyes and anywhere else. And this stuff lasts me a very long time too. So it's definitely worth the investment. I think it's about And this brush is just that three dollar blush brush that you can get at Target. Oh, got hair on there. All right. Then even things out a little bit more. Powder foundation. Cover FX one. And again, elf brush. This one's six dollars at Target. Okay. Oh, Lexi's still whining. And for bronzer, I'm going to use my MAC Matte Bronzer. I've been obsessed with this since getting it for Christmas. And my Stimulace 813 Stippling Brush. Favorite bronzer brush of all time. And I love this bronzer too because like, you can really get the brush in there and it doesn't like kick up extra powder. It's so well pressed.
Facebook or live. up a little bit more under the eyes um, and NYX radiant finishing powder love this stuff and again that elf blush brush darker color. When my hair is blonde, I used mainly the lighter color. You can use any um, angled kind of eyeliner brush like that. Like this one's the e.l.f. one. Again, just a few dollars at Target. Decided to go back to powder for a bit just to make my It Cosmetics brow pencil stretch out a little longer. I mean, it already lasts several months, but it was a little bit pricey. But I do really need that staying power more when it's hot out, so. If I can use this while it's colder, save me a little money. Ugh, I'm not the best with brows. longer when I'm filming. Why is that? I just can't concentrate. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> then I'm going to use 
then I'm just going to use the spoolie on my other brow pencil and my Maybelline Brow Drama um, Sculpting Brow Mascara. They came out with this not long ago and um, for me it's definitely not enough by itself but when I use the powder since that doesn't have like any shaping really to it, let's use a little bit of this and it works to kind of finish them off. But I really don't know what they were doing with that weird brush. Like, what's the point of that like ball? It's just kind of weird. And I have this in soft brown. Yeah. So yeah. And then last I always do um, my bottom lashes. out a little bit more. It's a very wet formula. The Maybelline Lash Sensational. Ah, it's like it cloaks a little bit. Control makeup finishing spray. Love this stuff. It helps take away the powdery look and just set everything to last all day. Ugh, getting my lip junk. Lip junk? Yeah. So. I feel like I use more in the winter just because is a little bit drier. It feels good. Alrighty. <clears throat> so. So that's it for this foundation routine. Um, this is kind of my typical full face. Um, if you want a cheaper version, something I love for full coverage, it's CoverGirl Outlast, or for lighter coverage, um, Maybelline Fit Me. I love the finish of this. It's just so soft and natural looking. It lasts really well um, without looking kicky or anything. So those are really great affordable ones that you can get for like six to eight dollars. So, yeah. So, that is it for today. I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.